Hey there, dear friends. Look what I've got for you today. A lot of colorful clay. Let's see. We've got bright pink, yellow, brown, pink, orange, blue, white, and green. And this is a magical candy bowl. Let's see what's hiding inside. Aha! Hello, Mr. Giraffe. What color do you want to be? Go ahead, make a pick. I think I want to be orange. Yippee! Okay, let's make this ball of clay flat. Now I will use my roller just like I do when I make pizza. Are you ready, Mr. Giraffe? Here we go. Wow, just look how easy it is, friends. Our Mr. Giraffe needs a little bit of decor. And this is where our giraffe is going to live. Oh, look. I think he likes it here. There is a lot of green grass in this savanna. This is just the right habitat. And what do you know about giraffes? Like me. We have really long necks. And I must say, it is not always comfortable. I mean, we do get the sweetest leaves from treetops. But when it comes to drinking water, we have to nearly do splits to reach it. Can you imagine that? The water is very tasty, though. And we're moving on to the next step. Let's see what we'll find in here this time. Huh? Ah, uh, it's a spider! Sorry, friends. That spider was so scary. Let me try one more time. Ah, it's a cute little elephant. Very well. Do you want to be a green elephant? No. A white one, maybe? No. Or a blue one? No. Pink? Still no. Then brown? Yes. Alrighty then. You know what we need to do with the clay first. Here we go. And now, it's rolling time. We need to do this really well, friends. Now I will press the mold with a bit of effort and do this. Let's remove the extra clay. We won't need it anymore anyway. And then we'll get to decoration. Hello, giraffe! This is so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Can you tell our friends more about yourself? With great pleasure. We elephants love to enjoy long walks with our families. Also, we love to swim in cool water and even take a dive. But my favorite part is when my mommy does this. Feels like a real shower. We've got two wild animals already. What is going to be the third one? Oh, wow, it looks like we found a lion. This is so cool. Our lion knows perfectly what color he is going to be. Yellow. We're rolling, rolling, rolling our yellow piece of clay. This is actually really fun. I am so glad that you are playing with me today, friends. Let's press this on and see what we get, carefully. Oh, our lion stayed in the mold. Come on, lion, come here. There you go. You are going to need your beautiful hairdo, which is called mane. Here you go. And this is a matching tail for you. Hope you like it. I am a big and strong lion. They call me the king of jungle, and I like it. Lions are very proud and beautiful big cats. They are not afraid of anyone. They are predators and eat meat. And this is how baby lions look. These two cubs are so playful. Do they remind you of kittens? Me too. Oh, I really want to know what other animal we will make today. I think I found something interesting. Hmm. I guess there is somebody hiding inside this cute box. Let's open it. Ugh, it's kind of tough. Okay, here we go. Aha! It's a zebra. What a little prankster. Zebra is looking around, trying to pick up the perfect color. What will she choose? I want to be pink, just like Barbie. Let's get to it. Excuse me, Zebra, but this is my roller. Go and play somewhere over there. In the meantime, I will roll this piece of pink clay really well. But not too thin, though. Now, let's place our zebra mold against it and press it a little bit. Uh-huh, like this. Here goes a click. 
And this is what we've got. Come on, Zebra. Come on out. There you go. Hey, roll around. Oh, I think she's a little bit lazy. And would you just look at all these stripes? Let's make them more visible. Hi, giraffe. Hey, elephant, did you recognize me? I'm the glamorous zebra. Zebras are very interesting animals. Do you want to know more about zebras, friends? All right. Right after birth, a zebra baby immediately tries to get to its feet. And within an hour, it is happily frolicking and jumping around. And actually, zebras are black with white stripes and not white with black stripes. Okay, we're moving on. I'm looking, I'm looking. Hey, I don't get it. Where is the next animal mold? Maybe it's hiding somewhere? Here you are! You shouldn't be late, Foxy. So what colors are left? Green? Pink? White. No, I don't like it either. This is the right color. I want to be blue. Just a little bit of patience, Foxy, and you will be. I'm going to help you. Here goes some rolling again. It's pretty easy. The next step is getting the right shape. A little bit of pressure. Now we're getting rid of the extra clay. And just like that, we get a cute blue fox. Let's add a few decorations to make her even more pretty. Here is one more. Very well. Wow, this valley is so beautiful. Roar, what animal are you? Well, you are right about to know more about me. Foxes are very gracious animals, but they are very strong too. A fox can run without stopping during a whole night. By the way, foxes can make more than 40 different sounds. Can you imagine? That's very interesting, right? Oh, who is this? I can't believe it. Is it? Yes, it's a big butterfly. Is she willing to be green? Or does she want to be pink? That's right. Let's make a pink butterfly. As always, we'll start by rolling out a piece of clay. Where is our mold? Go ahead, fly right over here. I won't hurt you, I promise. We don't need this. But we do need a few details. But our pretty butterfly can't do without a beautiful flower. And there it is, just what we need. Such a tough choice. White or green? White or green? My roller never gets tired. Do you like playing with clay friends? Also, I really like to have a lot of cool molds to play with. Wow, just look at this. Here comes the red part of our flower. Oh, it almost looks like the real one. Do you agree? The butterfly is in a hurry. She wants to meet all her new friends. And this is just the perfect place for her to land. This cutie loves flowers so much. Butterflies come in all shapes and sizes. The tiniest ones spread their wings for only two millimeters. These beauties can see only three bright colors. It's red, yellow, and green. We have only one animal left to make, but it seems to be missing from my magic candy bowl. What? Is it my turn already? Sorry. This honey is so good. Okay, I'm ready to go. Hi, bear. We have only one color left for you, and it's white. So, you will be a polar bear. You already know what step is next. We need to press our mold to get the bear shape. Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, great. Well, hello, everyone. It seems that I am a little bit lost. Do you know what way is North Pole? Hello, polar bear. You need to go right that way. Why, thank you, butterfly. And while I'm still here, let me tell you a few fun facts about polar bears. We are such good swimmers. Our fur is kind of oily. That makes it waterproof and keeps polar bears warm even in very low temperatures. Oh, just look how cute are those big wild animals. This is it for today. We made a lot of great figurines from clay. You should try that too. Give us a like. 
Don't forget to subscribe and see you very soon. Bye! Hey there, friends! Look, I found a paw print! I wonder who it belongs to? Oh, did you hear that? I think that's the paw print owner. Whoa! It's a dinosaur! Look how big his teeth are! And he's got a long, beautiful tail! I think he has such big teeth because he likes to eat meat. I am a big dinosaur! But Dino, why are you roaring? Oh, I think I get it. You are hungry. Since our Dino likes meat, he is a predator. How can we feed you, Dino? Oh, look! It's a frog! And a snail! A dragonfly and a ladybug mold! Let's try to make these figures from plasticine. The frog's paws are going to be red. And the rest of its body is going to be green. We'll pull it out really carefully. Like this. Wow! Look at the frog we made! Is Dino really going to eat it? Oh, I think our Dino is a vegetarian. He wouldn't eat the frog. Good boy, Dino. Oh, uh, I think there's something missing here. We need to help Dino. Let's pick up the tail and put the plasticine. Right here. Now, we'll just press it. Whoa! Look at this! Our Dino's got a tongue. What a long tongue you have, Dino. Ha <laughs> ha! But your back is missing some colorful scales. We will use some green plasticine, some yellow plasticine, and a piece of an orange plasticine. Let's press it on again. Wow! We've got beautiful, colorful, and vibrant scales for our little dinosaur. Hmm? What is this thing? It looks like a press. I wonder what will happen if we put yellow, orange, and red plasticine in here. Now let's press and see the result. Oh wow, it's beautiful! It's like a real volcano is erupting! And that's a lot of lava! Dino, be careful! The lava is very hot! I think Dino got scared! But what if we make a magic tree out of this volcano? I am sure that our vegetarian Dino will love it and he will be able to taste it. Just look at the leaves I'm making here. It's very easy. You can try it too. Let's add patterns to our leaves to make them look like the real thing. Now we'll attach the leaves to the trunk of our magical tree, just like this. What do you say about this, Dino? He seems to like it! Now let's make some friends for him! This is where our frog will live. But it needs roommates. Let's start with the dragonfly. It's going to have blue wings. Do you like its purple body? I love it! Next, we'll make a snail. Look how cute it turned out! What a fun magical tree we made! The friends want to make Dino happy, so they feed him a leaf. Mmm, what a yummy leaf it is! Dino liked it so much. Thank you, friends. Uh-oh, I don't think Dino's full. What do we do? Let's feed him some fruits and veggies. We will need yellow, purple, orange, dark green, green, and light green plasticine. I wonder what kind of veggies we can make. Let's start with green. From these two, we'll make stems. Now let's roll a plasticine sausage. Here comes another one. We need to 
cut these two into small pieces. Now let's put it all together. We will make tiny balls out of the dark green plasticine. It's very easy to attach them to the stems. And here is what we've got. Nice. It's a broccoli! Look how bright and juicy it is! Broccoli will make our Dino very strong. You should also eat it. But not the one made of plasticine. I am sure that you will guess our next vegetable. It's very juicy and crunchy. And the bunnies love it too. Make a cone shape of it, like this. Do you know what it will be? And what if I say that we will roll the green plasticine next? That's right! It will be a carrot! Now we're going to make the carrot top. Like this. Here we go. Very gently. Now we can put the two pieces together and our carrot will be almost ready. We only need to make a few small notches. And it's done! You can't tell the difference from a real carrot, can you? Our next vegetables look like two brothers. One will be purple and the other one will be green. Can you try and guess what they are going to be? Give me a couple of seconds to finish these plasticine veggies. These are beautiful and delicious zucchini and eggplant. And now we're going to make the queen of the autumn festival. What will it be? Is it an orange? Or a tangerine? Nope. They are both fruits. And we are making vegetables here. Any guesses? That's right! It's a pumpkin! It's so big, bright, and yummy! Is Ardino going to try it? Oh, yeah. And he seems to like it! While Dino is enjoying his veggies, let's make him a dessert out of fruit! The color wheel can help us choose the colors. The first one is orange. Let's make a peach! I know it's very tasty. First of all, we'll roll a ball. Now, let's use the stick to make a hollow. Like this. Also, we need a tiny hole right here. We can add a little stem now. The peach was attached to branch with it. The next color is purple. Do you know any purple fruits or berries? I thought of grapes right away! First, we'll make a triangular shape that will be the base. We'll roll out a sausage of plasticine and cut it into small pieces. Now, we need to roll them into little balls. Look how many grapes we've got! All we need is to attach these balls to the base. What a beautiful bunch of grapes we've got! It should also have some green leaves. Let's see what's next. Yellow! This is my favorite color! Because it's the color of the sun! What do you think my favorite fruit is? Let me show you! Roll out the plasticine so that the one edge is smaller than the other one. You need to get the shape like this. I think you already know what it is. That's right, it's a pear! Let's add a stem and a leaf to make our pear look real. And it's done! We can pick the last plasticine color now. And it's gonna be… red! Do you know any fruits that are red? Yep! I thought of an apple, too! Just look 
Look how beautiful it turned out! Now, to the leap! And our plasticine apple is ready! Wow! Dino has a real feast waiting for him! Let's give him a taste! He likes it so much because fruits and vegetables are so tasty and healthy! Today we made a lot of fruits, berries, and vegetables! Yay! Well done, dear friends! See you soon! Hey friends! Today we are tasting ice cream with Mr. Play-Doh Head! I love ice cream! It's one of my favorite foods! Let's get started, Emily! Alright! I have my handy-dandy ice cream scoop! Oh! I think you'll really like this first flavor! I'll scoop it into a cone for you, and then you can guess what flavor it is! It looks so yummy! And it smells really nice, too! But there is something missing! Oh yeah! I need to add a special treat on top! A cookie will work! I'm ready to give it a try! Bring it over! Mm. Mm. Is that strawberry I smell? You are right! It is strawberry ice cream! That's why it is red! Okay, here it goes! Wow! What a big bite! So, what do you think? Was it as good as you hoped, Mr. Play-Doh Head? Oh yes! Strawberry ice cream is nice and refreshing on a warm day! Thanks, Emily! Thank you! Here is a special gift! I wrapped it myself! You did a great job! <laughs> Pink is my favorite color! And those jewels make the gift sparkle! <laughs> uh -huh. Let's open it and see what's inside! This is so exciting! Looks like a toy! I just have to remove a bit more! Oh, it's Elmo! He's even red like a strawberry! Let's take a closer look! Wow! He seems so happy with that smile on his face! <laughs> That's because I love meeting new people! Hi there! <laughs> Hello, Elmo! You are just in time to try some yummy ice cream! We, we want, want ice cream! cream. We, we want, want ice, ice cream. cream! Pretty please! Okay, I'll get another scoop! What flavor should we try? I know! Let's try blueberry! Now I'll put it on a cone to get it ready for you to taste! This looks even better than the strawberry ice cream! It just needs some candy sprinkles! Look how colorful they are! And we can't forget freshly picked grapes! It looks amazing! Here you go! Oh wow! You try it first, Elmo! It is so good! Try some! I hope it tastes as good as it looks! Just leave some for me, okay? Well, you better hurry before it starts to melt! Ice cream doesn't last forever! Oh, it's very good ice cream! Thanks! You are very welcome! I'm so happy you liked it! Well, that means I have another surprise for you! It's an egg, and there is something inside! This is the biggest egg I've ever seen! Let's open it! It looks like something very familiar, right? It has wings and lots of windows! It's an airplane, of course! Passengers use these stairs to get to their seats inside! I've never been on a plane before! Maybe we can go on a little trip? Yippee! Everything looks so small down there! Whee! I was a little scared at first, but being on a plane was lots of fun! Thank you, Mr. Play-Doh Head! No problem at all! I like sharing my toys! <laughs> Is it time for more ice cream? Are you sure you want more? Let me check! I'm not sure what flavor this one is! We'll have to take a closer look! Uh-huh! It's a little stuck! Ice cream can be very slippery! Now you need a cone! Use this waffle one, please! Thanks, Elmo! What flavor do you think it is? This one's my favorite! It's pistachio! That's a nut! And on top, let's put a mermaid! Oh. Huh? We can't eat a mermaid! Oh, oh. Anything else? Let me see! How about a peach slice? That should work! So, are you ready to try? Uh-huh! Um, 
Elmo just ate the peach. Well, pass me the ice cream then. Yum, yum, yum. Um, delicious. Wow, you ate that so quickly. <laughs> now I have something else for you. It's an orange box with something cool inside. Go on and open it. <laughs> Our friends want to see. The lid is covered in lots of smiley faces. Let's see what's underneath. Colorful pom-poms. They're so soft and fluffy. And there are so many. I can use them for crafts another time. There is something else. Three more packages. We need to find out what's inside. I'll open up this one first. Let's see. Oh, it's a cute little carrot. You can squish him. And pull him. And twist him. But he never breaks. I love squishy toys like this. I can play with them for hours. Okay, let's see what the second one is. Oh, it's a bit harder to open. Got it! Now I can pull it out. It's blue. With dark black eyes. It's a squishy shark. Don't worry, this one is friendly. She likes to play and she never bites. I guess we should move on. It was nice meeting you, Sharky. So, we have one more surprise. And it's squishy too. Come on out and meet your new friends. Aw, it's a cute little kitty. I bet it likes to get lots of cuddles. And when you are really nice, he purrs to show how happy he is. And what do kitties say? That's right. What a good little squishy kitty. I want to play with the squishes too. <laughs> this is so much fun. I'm bouncing so high. Uh-oh, I lost a tooth. Ouch, it hurts. Mr. Play-Doh head, open your mouth. <gasps> Look at all those cavities. You'll need to see a dentist. B but I don't like dentists. They're scary. Dentists are there to help. I'm ready for my next oh. patient. Uh -oh. Don't worry, this won't hurt at all. I promise. Now open wide and let me take a look. This mirror will let me see all parts of your teeth. Let's check the bottom teeth too. Uh. It looks like you've been eating lots of sweets and not brushing your teeth. First, I need to drill out the cavities. Uh. Once I remove the cavities, I can put fillings in to make your teeth as healthy as possible. You are being a very good patient, Mr. Play-Doh Head. We're almost done. Just a few more cavities to drill. Now I can remove the bad cavities. We need to make sure they don't spread to your healthy teeth. Hold still. Uh, I almost uh, have it. Mm-hmm. There. I'll remove this cavity next. Remember, you can avoid cavities by not eating too many sweet things. Two more to go. If I twist it a little, it should come out. Got it! Now just one cavity left. Don't worry, this won't hurt at all. Now we can make new teeth for Mr. Play-Doh Head. We'll use this mold. I'll push in some white Play-Doh like this and press the other side down. You have to push real hard to make perfect teeth. Now I can open it back up and look. Two new teeth. Yay, they fit. And they look just like the others. I can put one more here by pressing it in. Remember, you have to brush your teeth twice a day. This will keep your teeth healthy and white. There, your dental work is all done. Do you feel better? I do. My teeth don't hurt anymore. And I promise to brush them every day. That's a good thing. And maybe try to eat less ice cream and other sugary foods. Here's one more gift. It is a special thank oh. you for making my teeth better. <laughs> That's very nice of you. Thanks. Let's open it together. I see some red and some green inside. What is it? Wow. One end has a trigger and one end has a punching glove. <laughs> it's a fist bump machine. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I've always wanted one. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Give me a fist bump! <laughs> like this video and subscribe so we can have even more fun in the future, okay? Bye-bye, friends! Wow! We learned a lot today, Mr. Play-Doh Head! We did! Remember, friends, treats are okay from time to time, but too many will give you cavities. And don't forget to brush your teeth! Bye! I'm ready for my surprise! Hey! Where is everyone? Am I alone? Hmm. Maybe I'll make it myself. I'll need some of these. The 
This will be fun! Hello, Mr. Bear. Can I borrow these? Please! Oh. Thanks! Do to do! Gotcha! Ooh, what are you up to? I'm going to open a treat shop. I have spoons and cones and all the yummy things I need. You can be my first customer, Mr. Head. Just let me set everything up first, okay? I have a few surprises that I think you'll like. I can't wait! What kind of treats will you make? There are so many options! Uh-huh! Gotcha! I can start with ice cream! Ice cream! You scream! We all scream for ice cream! I have strawberry and blueberry flavors! Oh! And pistachio! Which one do you want? Let me think… Hmm… Maybe I'll try some strawberry first. It looks so yummy. Great choice! I'll make it for you right away! First, plop it onto this cone. Then smoosh it in really good. I think we need a lot more. Oh, it smells so good! Like real strawberries! Let's see if we can get another scoop on there. Uh-oh! It's melting! I better hurry! This is becoming the biggest ice cream cone ever! Bop, bop, bop! Gotta get it in there! Now for a little trip. I need to get rid of all the ice cream on top. Stop! What are you doing? You're ruining it! Watch closely for a really big surprise! Ta-da! See, I turned it into a soft-serve ice cream! And now it's ready to eat! It looks delicious! Nom nom nom! This is so yummy! And it's a little messy! Let me clean you up a little! There! Now let's get you some blueberry! Hopefully this will satisfy that sweet tooth of yours, Mr. Head! <laughs> I hope so too! It's time for the first scoop! Then smoosh, smoosh, smoosh! I'm getting good at this! That's still too small! Ugh, we definitely need more ice cream! I love the color! It reminds me of a big blue ocean! And I love how it drips down the side like that! It's time to smoosh it down nice and flat! This is the best part! I better clean this up before other customers come! If you tidy as you play, then you have less to clean when you're done! Try it! And bam! How comes the ice cream? It's a perfect swirl! Oh, it looks a little like a blue unicorn horn! Hey, the ice cream is the same color as my nails! Wow! Is it ready? I can't wait to try it! Nom, nom, nom! It's so good! Watch your fingers! What's next? If you're still hungry, I'll make you a sandwich! It has a layer of strawberry on the bottom. Put a layer of blueberry in the middle. I'll add extra just for you. Can you guess what's next? On top, I'll add a layer of pistachio. It's a funny word. Pistachio! It's the name for a nut. Look at all those colors! Pink and blue and green! Okay, okay, let me try some. I can't wait. Be patient. I need to add decorations. An orange slice and a teddy. So, is it ready now? Well, I guess so. Kawabunga! Nom nom! Ooh, yummy in my tummy! Nom nom! Hmm, <laughs> are you full yet? Nope, I would love a waffle. Aha! Uh -huh. You want waffles? Then let's do this! What flavor should we try first? Chocolate! These waffles are extra sweet. Now I'll put some into the waffle maker. Huh, let's squash it down and push and smoosh it to the sides. It looks like a cookie. A cookie? I thought you were making waffles. We're not done yet. If I slip this over and press really hard, it'll make a waffle for us. Check it out. See all the little squares? Uh, it looks nice, but it is a little boring, I think. Boring? I can fix that. Let's add some ice cream. A nice big scoop will do nicely. It's cherry. Wow, this will taste great with the chocolate. I need to push it into each of those squares, like that. And then I'll add some more chocolate on top. Can you guess what I'm making yet? It's a very special ice cream treat. But it's taking forever to make. I'm so hungry. Only one more step. Let's press it together. Ugh, this is harder than it looks. One, two, three, four, five. It's done. Whoa, it looks so scrumptious. I want to eat it, but I better not. Here you go. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Nom. Ooh, it melts in the mouth. It's sticky and sweet and... Oh, so good! I'd love some more, please! More? What else can I make? Oh, I know! I 
can use the Play-Doh food truck. Yippee! More food! More sweets! Yes, please! I last ate a few minutes ago! I'll do my very best, but what should I make? Bingo! Cakes and pies! I love how soft this orange dough is. Now the next step, the smashy smooshing. Bye-bye, ball. Hello, pancake. Look how flat it is. I hope that's not it. I want something super special. Oh, you'll love this when I'm finished. Time for the mold. Wow, the perfect little cake. But that's just the bottom part. Do you like it? It looks okay, but I think you can do better. Now for some green dough. It's ready for the mold. Smashy smooshing time again! Whee! Let's see! It's a mini bunt cake! What an awesome shape! Like a donut! These two pieces fit so well together! And this is the perfect plate for this dessert! An orange slice to finish it off! Mm-mm! Perfect! I'm ready for my treat! Let me have it! Oh! Chomp, chomp, chomp! This is the best baked cake I've ever had! But did you mention pie? Sure, I'll make some with these three pink balls. I'll flatten number one. I'll squish number two. I'll smoosh number three. Here's my pie cutout, and it's the perfect size. I have to press hard to cut the shape out underneath. See what I did, friends? Each shape looks exactly the same. Hooray! We don't need the extra dough. I'll cut it off. And each slice will look good enough to eat. Yum! Can I have a little nibble to get a taste, please? No, you'll have to wait. I have lots to do still. I'll put the slices on this bright blue plate. It looks like I'm growing green hair! I can add the green as an extra topping for the pie. I can't forget the stars to make it more special. Check it out! Can I eat it now? Mr. Head, you have to wait. There's more work to be done. You're not being polite. I'm sorry. I'll try to be patient. Thank you. I think we need a cookie next. I have the perfect mold for this one. The extra bits will ooze out on the side. Then I'll peel it out to show you what it made. It looks like a macaroon. We should probably add something healthy. I know. I'll make some fruit. Look. It's a teeny tiny strawberry. I'll sprinkle some on my cookie. It helps make it look even better. And one for the top. It's the perfect dessert. Hooray, it's finally done. Bring it over to me, hurry. Nah, I'll keep them for myself. Friends, which cake do you like the most? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fun. I'll take these to go, bye. Huh? No, come back, I'm still hungry. Look what I've got! Brand new clay molds! Did I put them in the right order? Oh no! What is happening? Did I do that wrong? Well, now I'm gonna have to start all over again! Will you help me? I know you're good with numbers! This number, one, comes first! Where's my colorful clay? Here it is! This one is sparkly green! Now, in order to use the mold, I need to roll out the clay! There we go! Nice and slowly with a bit of pressing! Alright, that's enough! Now, I will press the mold against the clay, like this! Wiggle, wiggle. And this is what we've got. What is this number, friends? Of course, it's the number one. Well done, boys and girls. You are so smart. And you know what? I've got a secret Santa's cap somewhere. Ah, uh, here it is. I'm sure it will come in handy. Are you ready? Let's dig in. Hmm? What is this? Oh, I know. It's another clay mold in the shape of a deer. Great. Just look at these beautiful animals, friends. Daddy Deer has big, beautiful horns. Alrighty, let's get to business. I need a piece of clay. I want to use the yellow one. But this piece is way too big for our mold. We'll take a half. I'm going to squeeze and knead it really well. Oh, it is so nice to the touch. Now we can put it into our mold. There we go. Uh-huh. Ooh, we've got some extra pieces of clay. I will just put them aside. Well, are you ready to meet our new friend? Wow! Kids, just look how amazing it turned out! So, who is this yellow fella? Right, it's a deer! 
Let's keep going. I want to make him a cute little face, too. Our deer should have beautiful horns, remember? We'll make them from brown clay. See? It's super easy. Here you go, dear. Let's make you even more cute and festive. It's Christmas season after all. So, how many horns are here? Let's count together. One and two. Isn't it just the next number we are looking for? Oh, look! I think the deer knows where it is. He found the mold that looks like a number. What is this number? Correct, it's two. I need one more piece of clay now. Can you pass me one? Thanks. This time it's sparkly blue. Kind of wintry, right? Here goes a smash. <laughs> Where was my rolling pin? Here we go. Okay, you already know what is the next step. A little bit of effort here. And snap! Wonderful! Would you just look at this pretty number, kids? Do you remember what's it called? I do. It's the number two. Oh, I can't wait to see what else this Santa's cat prepared for us. Uh-huh. I think I got something. It's a cookie. Actually, for me, it's the most Christmassy cookie ever. A gingerbread man. Let's make one using our new mold and some brown clay. We need our clay nice and flat. I'm on it! Do you think I'm doing it right, friends? Okay, let's see what we've got. The extra clay, go away. Well, this doesn't look like the gingerbread man yet. He needs a couple of eyes, right? By the way, have you ever baked real cookies? Tell me more about it. And here's our little Mr. Cookie. How many buttons does he have? Count with me. One. Two. Three! Our cookie has three red buttons. Don't worry, we won't eat you, we promise. But maybe you know where's the next number we are looking for. Oh, wow! Look at that! He does know that! Well, friends, what is this number? Right you are. It's the number three. Very well. And this is the clay we will make it from. It's sparkly red. I want to do it in a different way this time. It will be our little experiment. Huh. I think it worked! What do you say, boys and girls? Did we do it right? Yay! Here is our number. Three! There you go. And so far, we have one… two… three clay numbers. We're doing great! Let's keep going! I'm sure that we will find something extra special this time. Come on, Santa's cap! Wow. It's a mold in the shape of a gift box. For the next step, we need clay. But what color should I choose? Oh, I have an idea! Remember, I promised you something special. Well then, just check these out. We will use this extra pretty clay with patterns. All of them, actually. Here goes the clay piece number one. Ooh, I can't wait to see the result. Come on out, come on out, clay. Wow, just look at these yellow stars. Okay, which one should I use next? With a rainbow. Haha, <laughs> the clay smoosh is really funny. So, we've got one more gift box. And since we already used a piece of clay like this, I will need this one a little bit. Wow, I love these beautiful colors. I wish I could get a gift box like this for real. Alrighty, let's do some more kneading and smooshing. <laughs> oh, I like this combination of colors, too. Friends, look how many gift boxes we made. Let's count them. One. Two. Three. Four. That sounds nice, isn't it? Hey, I can't believe it. It's just the number that we need next. Four. Can you repeat it? Four. And our number four is going to be sparkly yellow. Very well. Let's have a look at it. Bloop. Oopsie. We need to flip it over. Now it faces the right side. Well, friends, we've got four numbers now. What helped us get them? Right. The gift boxes. They should be lying under the Christmas tree. And here's a little sparkly thing for this one. Oh, wait, friends. I just noticed that our Christmas tree doesn't look festive at all. Do you see these? It's where the Christmas decorations should be. Let's make them together. Yeah. Look. 
look, friends. These are the Christmas decorations that we've got. Let's make them look neat. How many are here? This purple is number one. And this white is number two. The blue one is number three. And the red one is number four. And this pink is number five. Let's count them once more. One, two, three, four, five! Our Christmas tree fits them all! Wow, this is amazing! We've got our number five! What color is it gonna be? I can't hear you! Purple! That's right! Just look at it, friends! So beautiful! Go here, number five! All right, what comes after five? What numbers should we look for now? Oh, what's this? Wow, it's Christmas glitter balls! This one is is number six. And the other one is number seven. We are so lucky! Six and seven. Let's put them on our Christmas tree. This blue ball goes here. And his purple brother goes here. How about making two big numbers? Six and seven! Ha ha. I knew you'd like this idea. Let's do this. Look, friends! I will use two clay molds at the same time. Now, a little bit of pressing. Don't rush at this step. We want everything to look neat. And voila! I like how they turned out. This is the number six. And this one is the number seven. Nice to meet you. Can you repeat after me, friends? This is six. And this is seven. Now let's count together. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Very well. We haven't looked inside Santa's magic cap for a while. I bet there is something interesting for us in there. What? Really? Look what I found there, kids! It is a clay mold in a shape of Santa Claus. We'll make him our of the red clay, of course. Come on, Santa! Hop on! It's like Santa is making a snow angel, right? Awesome! But we are not finished yet! Our Santa needs a face! Here comes his nose with remarkable white mustache. I will also add a couple of eyes. And even more white decor. There we go. Look, friends, our little clay Santa wishes all of you a very Merry Christmas. <laughs> Dear Santa, can you tell us what number comes after number seven? I can not only tell, but even show you that number eight! Here it is! Thank you, Santa. Okay, I will put you over here. And our dear viewers will help me make the number eight. Am I right, friends? Yeah! Here we go. Now the extra clay goes away. There. We've got a sparkly green number. Eight. It should go right over here. But what number comes after eight? Oh, what is this? Very interesting. Maybe I should press it. Oh, wow, this clay is white like snow. Look how much clay snow I made. Cool, right? Hey! I actually see something under the snow. Oh, I think I know. It is the number that we were looking for. Nine. Let's do this. Our number nine will be sparkly yellow. I like the sound of it. What is this number called? Nine! Well done, friends! Let's take it to the rest of the numbers. Wait, do you hear that? Jingle bells! Look, kids, it's our clay deer. And he is carrying something very interesting in his sleigh. Do you know what it is? It is our next number, of course. Number ten! I want to make it out of the blue clay. And of course, it is sparkly. Like everything today. Do you like sparkles? And this is our last number for today. Come on, let's count! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Yay! We did it! We found all ten numbers. And I'm so glad that you were here with me today. See you on our next play date. And don't forget to subscribe! Bye! It's lunchtime. I'm so hungry. What? Broccoli? Ew! I eat vegetables only in my burgers. Wow! Would you just look at this super duper clay mold? 
I can totally make a burger with this. Look, friends, there's space for a patty, and for a mushroom, and for a tasty round bun. And this is a space for an onion, but I don't want to eat it today. Every burger starts with a bun. Now, what clay should I pick to make it? Do you see the right color, friends? Watch closely. Here it is. Well done. Okay, dokie, let's get started. I like playing with clay. And you? Oh, I agree. It smooshes so easily. Check this out. Amazing! What color is this? Yup, it's orange. Now, I want to make this bun really nice and fluffy. Let's see what is the right button to push. I will go with this one. And start. Wow! Friends, it's ready. Let's take the bun out. And of course, we need two halves for our burger. Great. I will put the bun on a plate for now, because we have a lot of stuff to make yet. Right now, it's time to deal with the patty. Do you know what it's made of? Meat. Right. And would you just look at this funny tool that I've got here? It will help us. I will just put this clay meat inside it. And push. Let's close this thing to get a patty of the right shape. I can see a lettuce here and a piece of cheese. Oh, it's ready! What do we have here? Excellent! This color is brown. I'm going to put our clay patty into the microwave, too. And now, let's heat it up. Hop! And boom! Mmm! Smells tasty! What did you say, Patty? You want a tomato blanket, huh? I can do that. I think that a thin slice or two of this fresh tomato will be just perfect for my burger. So, I'm going to do this. Ooh, we've got some red clay! This is just what we need. There's a tomato slice mold right here on top. And voila! It looks so real! What color is this, friends? Red, of course! Well done! I want to play that game with the microwave again. Here. I'm closing it down and heating it up. <laughs> Alrighty, who's hungry here? I've got two perfect tomato slices. Just look at them, friends. Don't they look tasty? Let's add them to our burger. And move on to another vegetable that we're gonna need. Do you know what's it called, friends? That's right! It's lettuce. So crunchy! Wow, that was cool, right? Now we can make our lettuce from clay! Honestly, this is my favorite part. Here is our clay mold. Let's spread the clay evenly, so that we get a nice and crunchy lettuce leaf. I'm sure that you all know this color. Green! Very well, our burger already looks great! But I really want to turn it into a cheeseburger. So what clay out of these should I choose to make a slice of cheese? Do you think it is this one? No, I don't think so. What would you say about this color for cheese? No. Emily, what color is the right one? Oh, really? Well, okay. Do you agree with Emily, friends? Yeah, all right. Let's take the yellow clay. In order to make cheese from our colorful clay, we are going to smoosh and smash it in all the ways possible. I want to use this cute fork this time. This is going to be so much fun! All right, that ought to do it. And into the clay mold we go. Remember there was a special place for a piece of cheese here? Well, this is what we've got. Let me just cut off the excess clay. That's pretty easy. Hop! And done. Now, a cut from this side as well. Where is my magic microwave? Haha, <laughs> there we go. Wow! Would you just look at this? Now we can build up our cheeseburger and finally taste it. Yum! It turned out so beautiful. Oh wait, I forgot something important. We all should wash our hands before the meal. 